It's Tuesday, December 7th, <laughs> 2021. Um, in the interest of trying to find um, some entry point um, to society, to money, to being able to care for myself, being able to contribute to my parents for my stay, um, to buy myself clothes, to be able to afford some skincare, um, a whole slew of things that are much needed, um, especially living in, in New York, um, that I'm unable to do at the moment, um, not because I don't desire to, just because there's lack of opportunity, um, it's, it feels like almost every door was shut, uh, by something that knew it didn't want me involved in something else. That's what it feels like. Um, turns out, so I was walking on the street and I see a rather large man, uh, by, by girth, by width, and by height, and he just had this vibe or this feeling or this projection of easy to approach um and on the back he had a hoodie on which is um like a sweatshirt with a hood um and on the back it was labeled DEP now I know I spoke to somebody once they said DEP was state I thought but when the man turned around, it said NYC in this new symbolic, it, they call it block lettering, B-L-O-C-K-L-E-T-T-E-R-S. It's like a form of calligraphy. The, with the word block is a form of calligraphy, just meaning that the letters are almost like if you're on a typewriter, they, f the, um, script looks like a block letter. I don't know. That's just what the humans around here, uh, their urbanite speak or their local dialect is. Um, even though the faces are ever changing. Um, so now this man in the sweatshirt, I, I walked past and then all of a sudden I turned around and said, you know, can I ask you a question real quick? I was like, if I, I said you were, it was like, if I wanted to apply to something like DEP, I was like, how would I go about doing that? And so he said, oh, you have to uh, apply directly with them. And I was like, right, okay. I was like, but is that like a paper, is there a paper application or how does that process work? And he was like, no, you can go online. And he's like, but um, he's like, are you a civil servant? And I go, a civil servant? I go, no, what does that mean? And he goes, well, anything city, rela city related, you have to be a civil servant. I was like, right now, okay, that, thank you, but I don't understand what's a civil servant. He said, well, you have to take a test with the city of New York. Once you take that test, then th you're a civil servant, and then you can apply to any of the city agencies because it's a multi-agency situation. And I'm like, huh. I was like, all right. Uh, I was like, thank you. And I started walking away, and then I'm thinking to myself, now, here's a rather large dilemma. So they force you into taking the civil servant exam. And that's a, a layer of, uh, for me, it's a block, it's a block to entry. It's, I mean, it could be, a, it could be a junction box, which could be working if the state of New York wasn't blue and wasn't already intoxicated and hypoxic with for, and with lack of oxygen um, in a dangerous energy crisis nobody seems to acknowledge. Um, 
I also found out that there was something somewhere, there's a guy by the name, I don't know, like again, I don't follow their careers, and nobody on this island talks about anything important. So there's something called a Colin Powell. He's some form of leader, or was. He just died. I saw his. they put a funeral on for him, kind of like they did for some Josephine Baker in France. Um, I don't know if they're the same level of human, but now what happens is like, if we're talking human biology in the state of New York, the way that they teach it when I went to community colleges in the organ, in the mezzanine or the, um, it's not peritrichus, it's the perineum inside the perineum there is, or behind yeah, behind the mezzanine, it, there's a large intestine that ends in something called a colon and then the word rectum. That's significant in order of process by organic naming at universal usually lines up at machine mechanics and preciseness at phonics and phonation for diet and menu and nutrition that I have no idea what it how and why I'm I need a residency replacement I don't even know how to get that because now there's th this man um I'm gonna say either I mean I here, it's, it's like, do I say what it looked like? Do I say rumor? Do I say this word alleged? I mean, it's what it looks like, because I'm at the bottom, and he seemed to be at some up top, and there's a commercial on the television. The thing that looks like this, that works where Linda is at the moment, they have this commercial on television that says they're testing for Colagard. C-O-L-O-G-U-R-A-D. Now, um, col that's your colon for rectal cancer. You take a sample and then you mail it away. It's actually like a process now that they're offering the humans in the New York area. But there's an even bigger problem because it looks like colon installed all of his guard and rectumed New York because it looks like they've taken over airspace and air and airtime and that they're wiping and canceling my kind of person which used to have the majority but now it looks like I mean today Tony De Coppola wasn't even on CBS this morning he was totally off the show but I didn't hear why um again when you turn on the show I mean it they don't keep repeating why he's missing, although I think they should at the bottom, but whatever. Um, so now, um, so this all gets really confusing because now I got a colon guard or, or putting in guards over my whole lifetime, kind of taking and changing the landscape. Today is apparently the 80th anniversary of something called Pearl Harbor. Now, the veterans are, they call them veterans, the people that went into combat and whether they suffered injury or not, but they call them that the word they use is veteran because you'll have to forgive me. I don't know how military anything works. I've been on this island in some kind of weird situation where I'm there's changing airtime and airspace and linguistics and what's acceptable, what's not. And making me feel like I really don't belong here and I'm really not welcome. It's a real scary endeavor. Um, and so, and I don't know how to get residency out. Now, if I have to take this, now, now, here's, now here's the thing. Jason, we'll just do 1976, okay? Not my favorite person in the world, but he is at least part of the minority. Um, so now he works for this NYPD. Um, his, so he had to take a civil servant test, and then I guess that's some kind of like pledge into the city agency system. 
Now, if there's this mayor, mayor problem, like they're currently now going from colon guard and Mayor Adams looks like, and then they've got problems at District of Columbia area. It looks like to me, and I'm not talking with President Joe Biden, I'm talking other side of, I don't know what a vice does, but I think they're in charge of the toys and of the ports of some sort, but I'm not quite sure. I, you'd have to reference Joe Biden on that because he's the real guy, that, or he's the real aficionado. So now I'm confused as to where, like, so now Jason's new boss, like, he didn't get to elect his boss because they just gave him a choice of this colon guard or rectum and this, because the company's lost all the kids in the city, I swear to God. Yeah, that's what it looks like. They're all in this mess together, and they don't, have, like, how do you, I mean, it's filling up in a colostomy bag, and they're all swimming in it together, but it's your boss, and it's your pension, and it's your job, and it's your, how do you not get jammed up, and how do you not go to prison, and how do you not have them come after your family, and then it gets really scary. And then as an ex-wife, you're like, whoa, how does that affect me? Um... But who do you ask that to? <sighs> so, um, especially when you have acute radiological poisoning and elect, like, elect, uh, electricity malfunctioning in your area, and you're like, I'm not even married in NYPD anymore. Like, why am I being persecuted and, and electrified on the streets of New York? And why is my life going so bad? Um, and people who have a, way too much power and hatred and are, like, steering the ship really off course nautically, um, as far as I can see. I, I mean, I don't even see a place for me. So now I'm like, all right, so now er this guy, uh, Eric Adams, is supposedly a mayor-elect. That's what the locals call it, and they don't really explain. I mean, they say he's in charge of the city, it, but again, it's not, these are not clear, defined roles as to just how many pots and jars and whatever he's got his hands in and I'm confused because they're already in direct violation of teleportation and like um other stuff and with purposely gearing things towards something that they're claiming is a minority but it actually in actuality is a majority I also found out that they, I, I saw a J Japanese man once, he said, well, he says he's Japanese again, I don't, beseeched, and I'm in a hearsay, I don't know what Farse says, but um, he, he said that um, there was a British uh, East, and then there, there was an East India trading company at some point. It was a very big, powerful organization. I don't really have more intel than that, he just used the words, and that is just enough of a abstract for me to go, hmm. And then I see in the streets here, would that make us the West Indies then? Because that becomes confusing with these people who are in New York City and they built themselves a parade. Jason used to have to work it, called the West Indian Day Parade, which he said is of a different type of whatever that he had never even heard of or seen before. Um, but they gather once a year and they have their own parade. And he used to have to work it as some kind of detail. Uh, but that was the, all the details that I ever heard. I didn't ask much more than that. Um, so that was that. But now they've got a city mayor, which is now, the, the NYPD says, or at least they're being told the mayor's their boss, which of course I understand you have to keep the lines of communication and structure, but now, um, how is that going to work when that's, I mean, now it's forcing the law enforcement to enforce the laws illegally or unjustly or unfairly. I mean, that gets confusing because now everything's twisted. Um, and I'm just stuck here and I'm being some diplomatic, like, boycott of some sort. 
I heard some gentleman or guy on the um, TV this morning, he made, a, he made a joke of it on CBS this morning. He's like, imagine being so high up in the ranks of important in the world that you're like, you know what, nope, we're not going to go to some, so-and-so's birthday. Um, that I think was direct, whatever. Um, so it gets really confusing. So now I'm, I'm in a quandary because Benjamin wants to become a New York City police officer. And I'm like, no, because they're already operating in a manner that on world stage and world scale is in direct violation with your ancestry and lineage and national monument historic value needed to keep one way so now this puts him in a really bad spiritual conundrum that i don't know how to protect benjamin like i i mean i want you to be law enforcement my love because i know that that's what you really appreciate but i don't know what level of law enforcement because the city if they've got the wrong mayor on and you're going into this mess I don't want them thinking that if you took that test that you were agreeing in some off scoring scorecard to that that was an acceptable decision and nothing against the the man Mr. Adams but I mean like I don't want my son to get harmed because the city is malfunctioning um and I'm on the outskirts which which makes it I'm off guard. I'm off. I mean, it's it's so confusing. Um, I don't know if it's off guard, on guard. Well, I'm I'm on guard because I'm looking at. I'm caught off guard. It feels like, um, but I don't know where do you go to ask for a residency change, to where it's more spiritually acceptable, so you don't get hurt. Um, it's really confusing, and it seems like these are really big, dangerous decisions, and I don't ever hear anybody talking about them. I just hear them doing these big Kologard messages to their own people, and almost like forcing us into quietness, and like afraid to stand up for oneself. I mean, even in my own house, I'm afraid to stand up for myself, and then they want to like put me they want to try to like institutionalize me into some like really dangerous like asylum piece just for standing up for my spiritual rights of I know this is not right and this is not I don't want my children to live in this kind of infor like this kind of oppressive behavior I mean there, there's like no freedom of speech at all they come after you they stick you in ambulances, they stick you with needles, they do metal detection, they, like, have you naked on a table in front of administration. I mean, like, it's really disgusting what, I mean, they're in violation of my, my human rights for sure, but I don't know where to even report this at this point because it feels like the northeast of where I am in North America is so topsy-turvy I don't know who to go to for protection. I don't know how loyalty is even built or structured in this type of situation. Star 1978, Star 8378, Nicole Cataruza. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is broken. I'm in Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.